So Threadbanger is calling all DIYers, crafters, and makers to come together for the cause of helping Haiti. We're looking for donations of handmade blankets, crochet or knitted washcloths, and DIY plushies. Take a look at the How to Make an Ugly Quilt video, and be sure to watch Meg's plushie episode for an easy plushie how-to. I'll be taking all the stuff with me when I go down to Haiti in March. Email tips at threadbanger.com for the address on where to send all your items. A huge thanks to everyone that's been donating to the dollar program, benefiting Planting Peace. We've raised over $2,000 so far since Monday. I'm so proud of us, but we need more people to participate to raise a million dollars. We have to reach our million 1. dollar 1.5, 1.5. 1.5. <laughs> so we're here with Aaron Jackson, my friend and founder of Planting Ooh. Peace. I started uh, Planting Peace uh, with Corinne um, roughly six years ago. Um, you know, Haiti is roughly the second hungriest country in the world and Corinne and I were driving to work one day and we heard about a famine going on in the countryside so we decided to um, put our minds together to do something to help and that's how basically the simple, the simple notion to help Haiti came about. So to donate, go to plantingpeace.org and we'll be keeping you updated with how much money we raise over in the Threadbanger blog. And lastly, we're going to be holding a Handmade for Haiti auction, proceeds going to Planting Peace. If you sell your DIY wares, please consider donating one of your items for the auction. Not all the details are worked out yet because we need more items to make it happen. So email me at tips at threadbanger.com for more info on how to donate your items. Thank you so much for all of your support. If you haven't already, join the Handmade for Haiti movement. We are technically a charity, but I don't really like to, to see it like that. You know, We're only legally a charity so we can cash checks. We don't get all caught up in the red tape of things, but things are you know, a lot simpler than what people perceive them to be. Every time we eat lunch in the States, that's roughly a whole village you could have treated from intestinal parasites. This is it. Yeah, and I know. Uh -huh. The best way to change that is to, to, to train and raise a new generation of children and young people. Haiti cannot be always Haiti. It's time for change. And a lot of doors will close. But for every 20 doors that close, one will open. And that's all you need is just one, you know, to be able to just continue to move forward.